And Allah Azza wa Jal encircles everything that they do, meaning He surrounds it and He spoils it. So the condition that Allah Azza wa Jal had put is what? He says, if you have patience and you have taqwa. Because He's saying they scheme and they plot. And they happy, they're happy when you're sad and they're sad when you're happy. You could see this. But you can counter it all with sabr and taqwa. And that is what the Prophet والسلام, was telling Khabbab. He says, if you hold on to what I have been sent with, and you continue to be patient, he's saying that Allah will fulfill this matter despite whatever they are doing, despite their might, until there will be peace on earth. Something that is beyond what you can see and feel at the moment. But yes, in the beginning, you have to bear the weight of their persecution. Yes, because that will cultivate sabr in you and taqwa. In Uhud, because some people will say, are we that bad? In Uhud, you had Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the army and the best of companions. They broke one command of his and they lost. Right? In the other battle, Yom Hunayn, the battle of Hunayn, when they admired their strength and they relied on it rather than Allah Azza wa Jal, in the beginning they were defeated and they had with them Muhammad alayhi salatu was salam and the best of companions. The loss of tawakkul cost them the beginning of the battle. And they were the best of the best. So Allah Azza wa Jal wanted to show through all of this and remind us through all of this. وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Victory only comes from Allah Azza wa Jal. It doesn't come from numbers. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ نَصَرَكُمُ اللَّهُ بِبَدْرِ وَأَنْتُمْ أَذِلَّهِ Allah gave you victory in Badr and you're only few in numbers. Meaning number-wise, you shouldn't have won. Because Allah gave that victory to you. So Allah wanted you to know that if you want Allah's victory, your taqwa is the first and main ingredient. And your patience is the, patience is the first and main ingredient. And if you don't have them, then Allah lets you to your own power. If Allah gives you victory, no one can overcome you. But if He forsakes you, who can champion you instead of Him? Let the believers rely on Allah Azza wa Jal. So you and I, we could be hindering Allah's victory. And all of these things when they happen are opportunities for us to look back at ourselves first and say, what is it that I'm doing that is wrong? So if I am or you, I'm a person who's not praying five times a day and you're missing it and you're fine with it, then I'm going to tell you, you're delaying Allah's victory. Don't say when will Allah's victory happen. Say when will I stop it? When will I stop stopping it? If you're not praying five times a day, if you're not giving your zakah, if you're not fasting Ramadan, if you're not doing these essentials, if there's a haram that you're addicted to, if you drink alcohol, if you take drugs, if you deal in riba, if you're doing these major sins and you're fine with it, then Allah's victory is stayed behind because of you and I. 